Hey guys, this is B. Jr. from Endurance Productions Movie Reviews. Gonna do kind of a halfway uh, drama, halfway horror movie review for you today. It's not a full-on horror movie, it's kind of more of a historic uh, drama uh, movie of the, uh, of a, kind of a melding of two genres. Kind of, a, kind of a drama, kind of a slash drama, slash horror genre type movie. Um, the movie is, of course, Shadow of the Vampire. Starring William, De let's see, Willem Dafoe and uh, John Malkovich. Um, the movie is kind of a recollection slash fiction fictionalization of the making of the the horror classic Nosferatu, who was made by uh, F. Murnau, I believe is how you, uh, Murnau is how you pronounce it. Um, the silent film of the 1920s era that kind of stole the basic premise of Drac Bram Stoker's Dracula and filmed in Germany and then was put out to the masses to view. you got to remember, these older movies like that had no soundtrack, and basically they just put forth emotion on the screen in a silent black and white format. Real grainy, real low quality stock, but that's all they had back then, so you kind of just had to enjoy the story. Um, this movie, like I said before, it's kind of a, almost up to about midway through the movie, it's a recollection movie, and re, uh, it's like a telling of the story of how they made that movie, and what went in behind the uh, production of it, um, how the actors interacted with the director, and it's just a good little movie. I mean, I really enjoyed it. It was kind of surprising. I got it for cheap out of a bargain bin at my local used movie store. Thought, well, I'll take it home, try it out. I saw it once once before on uh, VHS, but I don't think I finished watching it. I had to get it back before. It's back when uh, rental fees were big, and you had to get it back to the video store. And I think I returned it without watching the rest of it. I'm glad I got this. I think I paid either two or three dollars for it, but I really enjoyed this purchase. The reason why I say that is because it's a uh, kind of like a character study in a way. They take the main characters of F. F. Murnau, the director, and the uh, the actor character uh, character actor Max Schreck, who's played by Willem Dafoe, who plays Nosferatu in the movie, the movie within the movie. Um, it's about how they interact with one another to get what they want, which is to complete the picture and the needs of the Nosferatu Max, Max Schreck guy, who's a very peculiar fellow, I must say. He, he, he was one of these actors that went way back into the hills before they actually, on location, before the, the actual production crew even got there. He lived in a cave, supposedly. I did some research on the movie to see if any of this was actually true, and I, what I found was, folks, What's depicted in Shadow of the Vampire is about a third true. Then they just kind of fictionalize it and just kind of make it an enjoyable movie. They don't really... It's not all true what happens in this movie here, guys. I, just, I hate to burst your bubble, but it's not. Um, it's just a good little movie. It recollects a lot of the, uh, the uh, kind of hokiness. That's probably a bad way of saying it, but the, the, the low... Uh, probably the low techness. I guess that's a good way of saying it. Um, the low techness of making a, a silent film, how F. Murnau would have to uh, just kind of talk to his actors and tell them what emotions they're feeling as they're going through the story and they're mouthing the words and then they insert the cards with uh, the applicable English titles or German titles whenever they made the silent film. Um, it just kind of goes amok kind of midway through the movie and I don't want to ruin it but it kind of goes the fiction route after that of what could have happened during the filming of that movie. But that's just Hollywood stepping in and uh, making it, trying to make it enjoyable for the masses, I guess. Um, guys, it was nominated for two Academy Awards. I'm not sure for what, if it was for makeup or for story or whatnot. I do know, uh, I will say a few words before we get into the special features of the DVD. Um, this movie was a Lionsgate Films release of a Saturn film. Saturn Films is Nicolas Cage's own, uh, the actor, his private uh, production company. He's put out a few different movies that you probably have seen. Um, he's kind of like the backbone with putting this project together and it's found in the special features that he really went around and got a lot of people involved with this project. Other actors like uh, Carrie Elways, um, uh, to, to Eddie Izzard, Udo Kier, a lot of people that you kind of name actors that you've seen in other movies and kind of put this project together for not a whole lot of uh, profit, for not a whole lot of uh, uh, money to be made from it. It's basically just a creative based movie and that's what I like about it. It's kind of like a low budget movie with some with some product behind it, with some product, you know, some money behind it, with some, not a whole lot, not a knock your socks off thriller or anything, but it's just, just a well presented movie. 
Um, to talk a little bit about the DVD features, it does support a featurette of behind the scenes look at the making of the film, feature commentary with director Elias Murhiz, I believe how you pronounce it, interview with actor Willem Dafoe on his character, interview with the director, interviews with Nicolas Cage, photo galleries, theatrical trailer, um, all the little extra production notes, that kind of thing. Um, it's presented in the 2351 anamorphic widescreen with the 5 to 1 surround sound. The picture is great, the sound is great, it all checks out. Um, it's an hour and 33 minutes long, so you're not going to burn a whole afternoon watching it. It's just a good little, little something different, really. Not a whole lot of people talk about it, but I, I have to say in retrospect, it's one that I liked and I'm going to add it to the collection behind me. And uh, probably just get it out maybe around Halloween time, have something different to watch. Not a, you know, blood and gut slasher or something like that, but it's something that's a little more story based and just interesting to watch. There again, guys, draw your own conclusions. This is B. Junior and Endurance Productions. Take care, guys.